The prompt for you and me to do separately, I think, should be a person taking photos, and that's it. And it can be vlog, a presentation, it can be a short story, sketch, a skit, but that's my idea. And it's very open-ended, um, so maybe we can start with that first. So I was initially struggling for ideas for this concept of a video. I didn't know if I wanted just to film myself going out taking photos or showcase some photos I've already taken in the past, which I like. Um, but then the idea fell into my lap. So it's my close friend Daisy's birthday coming up soon. Um, and she's been telling me for a while that she wants a film camera. She's already got a couple, I think, but she's not using them because she's not sure they work and doesn't want to waste time on and the photos she's taking on it. So I have found a film camera. Um, it's actually quite a good one, Olympus AF1, quite highly rated, but I don't know if this works because I've only just bought this. So my plan for this video is to find a battery for it, get some film for it, test it out to see if it's in good order. Check there's no light leaks, uh, check that the flash works, or all, all the bits work. So that's what I'll be doing in this video. I'll be testing this camera out, uh, finding out if it works first and foremost, taking some pictures with it, and then getting them developed and checking them out. Just been having a look at some of them detail shots I just shot, and I think first and foremost it's going to need a bit of a clean. Uh, there's bits of sand on the inside, like someone's taking it to the beach. Um, it's just a bit dusty, so I'm going to give it a bit of a clean out first, and then go buy some batteries. I mean, to be fair, it's quite clean inside. But you can see, like, up here, there's, like, bits of sand in it. Just gently does it. Ugh. Oh, it loads on this bit. Um, but it's a lot cleaner now than it was So hopefully that'll keep the film nice and clean Right, I'm gonna head out to the shops um, To go buy the camera battery and a roll of film to test it with um, See my keys Successful trip uh, I've got the batteries and I've got the roll of film. Let's test it out. Morning. It's a new day. New day. I've got the camera battery and the film. Uh, I'm going on a walk today with my sister and my nephew um, so I thought that was a great opportunity to bring the camera, test it out, get some photos uh, and then get it sent off for development as soon as possible because it's Daisy's birthday in a week. So I've uh, got some time restraints on this. Right, let's see if she works. Battery. Batteries in, mode of truth. She's working, look at that. Gorgeous. So I'll bring you closer for the film loading. Oh, by the way, do you like my mug? My friend Nicola got me it. I think it's lovely. Right. Let's load her up then. that in there. Apparently it's an auto loader so I only need to get it just tucked in. Tuck it behind there. There's little uh, teeth here, make sure that they catch in the holes. And that should be, I might pull it out a little bit more.
You see it's winding it up. See the numbers moving. You probably can't. Well, it stopped on two. It stopped on two, and I'm not sure why. Whether that's how long, it, that's how kind of far along there it got to load it properly. We're going to find out. But it's in, so I can't open this anymore to check. Cool. I wish it was a bit sunny right now. This room is um, really beautiful when the sun rays just come in through the window and hit the bed and hit the flowers and the table and things, but you got to work with what you got. Alright, first photo. What are we going to do? Maybe the flowers, they're quite nice. Against the sun, we mean the flash will probably come on, which might look quite interesting. The flash did come on. One photo down, only 35 to go. Or maybe a little selfie in the mirror. Oh my god, my hair's a mess. Oh well, I'm not known for my good looks. Hands. Okay, well that photo's going to look shit because the flash went off. The problem with this camera, in my opinion, is that the flash is automatic. You can't, you've got no control over it, so you can't turn it off or on. It just, it measures the light levels and it comes on if it thinks it's appropriate. Which is, could be good because you don't have to worry about it, but also, like just then, I didn't want the flash to come on because all you're going to see in that photo probably is just flash. Personally, I'd prefer if I had more control over that and could turn it on and off myself. I've always loved this view out my window, so I'm going to get a photo of that for the memories when I leave here. Oh, I just saw a blue tit, that's nice. Okay, flash didn't go off that time. <laughs> Little doggy's barking. Oh my god, the sun's just come out. There's got to be light coming into my house somewhere. Let's go find it. Ooh, 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 it's going to be... Ooh, here it is. It's only right there right now. <laughs> hmm. Maybe a picture of this? Or maybe through the... It's uh, a bit... Maybe the plant is quite nice. I don't want it through the veil. Like a silhouette of the plant. Mm, I don't know. I'm not loving this. Self timer selfie. Like, if I post it right here to get the same view you're getting, because me and my lovely house. I think I press and hold self timer as I press the shutter button. Where do I want to put it? I put it right next to this camera. Oh no. Please don't take, please don't take. I don't know if I'm in it. <laughs> You'll get to see that. <laughs> I think it's probably just got the top of my head because <laughs> I didn't have time to set it up properly. I don't really use film cameras in an artistic way, um, like to get photographically nice shots. I like to use these kind of cameras to document life. Um, so this is a bit weird just going around my bedroom taking photos, but um, I need to use up the roll, so I'm going to use them in every way. But I'm going to meet my sister and my nephew in a minute, uh, so I'm going to bring this with me and get some shots of that as well. to the pub. Um, I had a good day with Hattie and Felix. Uh, I've realised that I didn't film myself actually taking the photos, which is I think the whole point of this video. But um, 
I'm gonna take, I've taken the camera to the pub tonight and meet some friends and I'll take some photos there. Whether I uh, film it or not will be the other question, but I guess you'll find out. So I'm about to head to work. Um, I was going to take this to get the belts on the way, so then the photos will be ready in a few days. I also realised that um, the whole point of this video is to film me taking photos, but I actually didn't do a lot of that because <laughs> every time I was in a situation where I was taking photos, I was too busy in that situation, or I didn't have, didn't want to film. Like when I was in the pub, I didn't want to whip my phone out and start making a video. Well, it's over. <laughs> a bit nervous to open the back in case um in case it's not done it properly. Right, let's pop this open. Oh, I'm really scared. Is it up or down? Up. Oh no. Have you done that? No! I don't know what to do now. Is the whole camera fucked? I don't know. Let me... Right, I'm going to try and... Wait. Ah! Ah! I'm going to try and press this button. It should wind the film back. I'm so confused because the number's going up and I don't want it to go up. I need it to rewind. Mate, I'm wildly confused. I'm just gonna have to open it, aren't I? Stop! Oh, I actually don't know how to do this. I'm not sure. Not really sure what to do. So I can't press this forever. This is meant to rewind it back into the roll. But every time I press it, it does that. Fuck it, I'm just gonna have to open it. If the film's ruined, it's ruined. I can't leave it in there forever. Unless I take the camera to the camera shop and ask them. Mm. Yeah. I think what I'm going to do is... Um, I think I'm going to take the whole camera to the camera shop and ask them what to do and tell them what happened because they might have a better, uh, better idea. And they also have like dark bags that they can open this in so it doesn't expose the film to light again because I've just clearly done that. Ah, sh remember where the, uh, the bit is on that side. <laughs> it's on the side. That's it. I'm going to pop it up. So I took the film and, uh, and he said that it was jammed, like the lead was jammed into the camera so it wouldn't come out. He managed to get out, but the question now is whether the camera actually took any photos if it was jammed and wasn't moving the film when it said it was, whether the film didn't move at all and didn't take any photos, or whether it did take all the photos, just got overexposed when I opened the camera. Um, but there's no way to find out, so I've paid to get it developed and scanned. Um, fingers crossed, eh? What more can you do? <laughs> so you obviously would have seen the... Um pictures by now. They turned out well. All is well. There was a panic there when we opened it. But um, no, I got the email with the pictures on and yeah, they look alright. Couple issues. The focus being the main one. Um, all the photos didn't really have the focus right, which it, I don't know if it's user error, because there is a focus lock button on the top of the camera. And I don't know if I pressed that and it set the focus to something dodgy. Because some of the shots the focus is like in the distance rather than the subject, um, which isn't ideal, but so the focus and also some of the shots were a bit overexposed. The flash, it was very bright. Um, in that pub, we had everyone looking at us because the flash was so bright um, and basically lit up the whole pub. Oh, I was about to go on a walk, it was just so raining. So, yeah, thanks for watching. I had a lot of fun with this one. Bogdan, I can't wait to see your take on the video.